Good for him. I'm hoping that's about all I'm good for. He's a drive. Why y'all? Y'all have a good one. Alright, okay. right, guys, so I'm in Walmart. I'm finding some Xbox One games. So um I think Zoo Tycoon sealed, maybe $14.95. So I might buy some of these. I'll let you guys know what I find here or if I find anything here. Because when you buy something at this thrift store, you get a free bo bottle, spray bottle of fragrant deodorant body spray. Mm, smells magnifico. Okay. I think they're two bucks a piece, so I might be picking these up. Yeah, sorry guys about that. No in-store video. Uh, basically just because there were like a ton of people in there. But I'll show you guys what I got. Uh, so I got these and uh, and this cord down there, and uh, I'll show you guys in the pickup video what exactly it is. But I paid two bucks for each of these, so it was like 16, 17 bucks maybe for all these, which is pretty good. So I'll talk about that later. I'm at the pawn shop, and same games for the same prices. But this one though, I'm actually kind of looking to saw off a set, this one might get this game, I might hack one, I don't know. Yeah. A dollar piece. These are the ones I'm picking up. Especially this one. What is going on YouTube? This is Till Guy here. Um, when it rains, it pours, guys. I'm not kidding you. I got all this stuff this weekend. Um, amazing, amazing finds. I'm just going to get straight into it uh, with you guys for the first video. Uh, as you guys are going to see, it's going to be uh, at like a Kids Mart. I bought some games. I uh, also got a Guitar Hero guitar. You know, Guitar Hero guitar. And all this was like, I don't know, $17 or something like that. So I got this big box right here full of stuff. The first thing is the Xbox, original Xbox controller. It doesn't have the little thing on the end, but it doesn't matter. Who cares? I won't be keeping it. Also got a like a guitar hero, like a like little adapter thing for the PS2 for like a wireless guitar. And it was like a dollar. Uh on to some of the games that I found at this place. Alright, so I've got Red Faction 2 for the Xbox, right there, Red Faction 2 for the Xbox, uh, Paria for the Xbox, yeah, Paria for the Xbox, Red Faction 2 for the Xbox, uh, now the rest are PlayStation and Wii, uh, Jack and Dexter, uh, yep, Power Drome, Juiced 2, Soul Reaver 2, Dynasty Warriors 4, Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, Midway Treasures 1, really happy to see this, Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith, I'm actually kind of looking for a set to sell this off with, so that was a really good find, and then WarioWare Smooth Moves for the Wii, no manual, but 
almost every game was half off 150 so like 75 cents except for this one which is like three because that is separately priced so uh, not really bad honestly for all that uh the next things you guys are going to see is today what i got today uh, i went by one thrift store this is the one where i got the uh the um i don't know it's body spray from i don't know it's like buy from this store get like a free body spray it's from like Salvation Army, so yeah, that's really strange, but yeah. Uh, then I got like Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay, but this is a pre order bonus DVD only for the Xbox, and um, this is still sealed. As you can see, it's still sealed. And I paid a dollar for this, so I got a dollar for body spray and a sealed copy of a pre order, so that's really awesome. The next thing I want to show you guys is what I got from Walmart. I got Wii Sports Club. Uh, I actually picked up two of them. The other one is in a very safe place because I'm going to keep it sealed and resell this one. Um, if you can do it, always buy Wii Sports Club whenever you see them because they go for much, much more than retail. And it's one of the very few examples of games that go much more than retail. Alright, on to the next thing. Uh, I went by the... Uh, Asbury Community Thrift Store and um, bought like an Xbox cable that was like a dollar. Xbox 360 HD TV cable, like not worth anything. Um, Alright, then I got uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars lightsaber duels for the Wii. Lego Indiana Jones 2 The Adventure Continues. Lego Indiana Jones The Original Adventure. Uh, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga for the Wii. You have to find on that one for the Xbox 360. Um, No More Heroes for the Wii, and The House of the Dead 2 and 3 Return for the Wii. Everything is complete in this. Really good to see that one. And then the next, the only Xbox game I got was Harry Potter. Just a disc, but I can get some money for that one. Easy. Alright, now this is where it gets kind of better, because some of these finds are pretty good. Uh, this next one's mediocre. But uh, I'll just get straight into it. I went by another thrift store. And uh, this one wasn't on camera because my cell phone ran out of memory to store all the data. So these, some of these are going to be off camera signs as you see. Um, most of these are Xbox and one's PS2. So, so for the Xbox we have Enter the Matrix. Auto World Munch's Odyssey. The Black Print. Dynasty Warriors 3, Jinma Onimusha, I think that's how you say it, Dead or Alive 3, Reckless the Yakuza Mission, and then Tom Clancy's Rainbow 3, Rainbow 6 3, Rainbow 6 3, not 3 6. And then the only PS2 game that I found was Star Wars Bounty Hunter, and I, this is the first time I've ever seen this, so I'm really glad to pick this up because I'm a really big Star Wars fan. And I haven't really seen that one. Alright, on to the next one. I got, I went back to the same thrift store that sells like dollar games. So I picked up like a lot that I saw. Alright, the only Wii title I got was Shrek's Carnival Craze Party Games. Really worth nothing. I don't even know why I got it. But it was a dollar. Alright, the next ones you guys are going to see are PS1 titles. Oh, they're all PS1 titles right here. Alright, so I've got uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. 007 Tomorrow Never Dies. Uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, uh, Rugrats Studio Tour, R Rugrats in Paris the Movie, Gran Turismo 2, on to some of the better stuff, uh, Spongebob Squarepants Super Sponge, I, I did have the manual for this once and then I lost it, so I'm glad I got that. Alright, next is Frogger. And then Small Soldiers, and then the hit of the day probably, uh, except for a few things, this is probably one of the good things I saw. Spyro the Dragon complete with the manual and the disc is in amazing shape. I'll show you right there. No really good scratches. That's a smudge right over there, but everything's in really good condition. I'm really glad to find Spyro because in that great a condition because most people complain that PS1 titles really don't work that well. Alright, next on to the stuff that was also off camera. I got a Nintendo Game Boy uh, case thing. 
um, from the other thrift store that wasn't on camera. There's nothing on the inside, but it's a really good case. And uh, I'll set that right here so you guys can see that. Probably, yeah, just really good, really good and good condition Nintendo Game Boy case. Um, some of these are going to be mixed. I got like PS3, DS games, Xbox games. Pardon me as I drop everything. So it's going to be kind of spread out as to what is actually what. So uh, I'm going to start off with the more obscure things first. Uh, Resistance Fall of Man for the PS3. It's in like this weird case thing from like Hollywood Video. So, or movie gallery or something. So, oh well. Resistance Fall of Man. Uh, the DS games. Uh, Legend of Starfy. Scribblenauts. And Foster's Imaginary Friends, Imagination Invaders. And then, um, alright, so now onto the PS1. Got Medal of Honor Underground. Tetris Plus. WF Smackdown. Um, Spec Ops Airborne Commando, which is, yeah, they're... Spec Ops Airborne Commando, which is in a sleeve. I forgot to take that out. Uh, Frogger 2 and Frogger 1. So now I have found two Froggers today. And I'll get rid of this one and sell both the black label ones. So that was all for the PS1. And then I got Need Speed Underground 2 for the Xbox. And then uh, I got a CD, Metallica Kill 'em All. Really like Metallica, because that's why I got it. I didn't have the CD. And also, I got uh, two Xbox 360 guitars for Guitar Hero. Uh, they were like a dollar each. So, really good CDs. This is like the Guitar Hero 3 edition. And then this one is the World Tour edition right here. I'll probably be trading these into the game store. To get some in-store credit. So a dollar for guitars. Amazing. So I'm just going to set those. Right over here. Alright guys. Now to the definite finds of the week. These were some amazing finds. Um, so this is all from Thrift Mart. The one thrift store. And um, I paid like $27 for all these. You'll see why here in a second. So I got Lego Star Wars the video game because I wanted to complete the Star Wars set for the um, PlayStation 2 so I can sell it off. Uh, ATV Off-Road Fury, not for resale, but still sealed. So it's a sealed copy of this game. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it off or something, I don't know. Um, now on to the Nintendo games I got. You can feel and hear the cartridges as they slip in my hand. I was about to check out and then saw these sitting on a shelf right behind the cashier and so I said, hey, can you give me a look at these? So I went and looked at these. I got Metroid for the NES for $6. Really good condition, really good find. I got Rampart for the Super Nintendo. And then probably one of the best things I've found ever, uh, The Legend of Zelda uh, Link to the Past for $7 at this thrift store. So I spent 27 bucks on all of these five right here and then got a colossal massive re-good back on it. So everything I spent this week was probably like 70, 80, 90 dollars, something like that. And uh, yeah, I'll just let you guys uh, see right here what I got. It's uh, the Game Boy, the guitars, the boxes, and then um, you know, the Legend of Zelda right there. That was really good to find. Most of the stuff I'm going to just throw in my yard sale. I'm going to have this weekend. So, um, yeah. I also would like to do a rant. Because I haven't done a rant in a very long time. I had a, um, a car radio that I wanted to sell. Uh, that I wanted to pawn. Because, you know, car radios, they're okay in price. They're like, alright. So I went into the Quality Pawn Store uh, that I've been in before. I've showed some video of it there. That's where they have the $15 Mario Duck Hunt, which is still hilarious in my opinion. 
So I walk, I walk in there with this radio and they say, and I ask, hey, do you guys take radios? And they say, no, we don't take radios. And I walked out and saw a car radio sitting there for $50. So I walk back in with no radio and I find uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed for the PlayStation 2 for $7. This is what it looks like on the 360. This is my copy. But this is what it would look like, except it's on the PS2 and it's not as expensive. It was for like $7. And uh, I walk back up to the counter. And I say, "Is this the price that's on here?" And they say, "Yes." So, you know, so because seven dollars for that game is really expensive. And so I said, "Hey, would you guys just do like a trade for this car radio and this game?" And they were, "No." They said no to that because apparently their other car radio had not sold and been sitting there for two years, but its price was fifty dollars. So. I think that's really kind of stupid because I wanted to trade one small disc for a game for a system that's 15 or so years old and they would not trade me for a car radio that just kind of tells you how overpriced things are at that quality pawn and uh, sometimes I go in there and find really good stuff because just basically because I don't know what they have but other times I look and I see you know sports games go for six dollars there and that's really crazy and really insane that's my rant. I was really kind of mad. I was really hoping I'd show you guys the radio, but I've misplaced the radio. I think it's outside. Uh, anyways, you know, that the radio aside, they wouldn't trade a car radio for a disc, a Sony PlayStation 2 disc. Makes no sense to me, but it's whatever. They can do whatever they want. I'm just going to throw that car radio in my yard sale I'm going to have this weekend and... That's going to be all she wrote. So, uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's been a really good week finding games this week and preparing for this yard sale. I'm going to put some of these games that you see here in my yard sale. And uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you, a guys, a special episode saying what I had before. Uh, what I'm going to price these some of these games at. And then, you know, I'm going to make an end video saying what I actually sold. So, um, and I'm also going to send you guys... A video of the, um, the Guitar Hero guitars right over there. You see um, how much they're going to sell for in store credit at the game store in the mall. So I'll definitely um, let you guys know about what's coming up next. So uh, if you guys feel like you want to rate, comment, or subscribe, um, by all means do so. I'm not pressuring you to do anything. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out.